All right, so I'm here with your raw review, and I gotta say, you know, they're really doing a better job at, you know, putting on a better raw. You know, I come on, I've came on here for the past however many months, and really bash the show every fucking week, saying how horrible it is. And it was, it was, and people might be saying, "Oh, all you do is rant and say negative shit about it." Well, yeah, I do because it sucks. But you know, over the last few weeks, they've actually done a better job of putting on a quality raw. Let me just say this. The matches have been good because they've been giving... I've been saying this for however many months, years, whatever. Don't just give people a five-minute jobber throwaway match that doesn't mean shit. You know, and they've been giving them longer match times. Even if the match is like... Even if the wrestling isn't that great in the match, it still is. seems like it's a good match or better if they give them 15 minutes. Even if the match, you know, even if the wrestling is just okay, you know, it's, it's much better than like a five minute throwaway match. So let me get to this review here. We have the Authority and Cena coming out to cut a promo. Felt this was very lackluster of a promo here. You know, uh, you know, they're like, oh, we're doing a first time things. And I th found this very hypocritical that they're going to do Cena versus Rollins. They were like, oh, it's a first time, you know, we're doing all these first time things. You know, we've seen Cena versus Rollins a million times before. You know, so how is this fucking, you know, they're like, oh, it's the first time the championship's defended or whatever. What? what? Come on. You know, you could, you could say, oh, well, it's the first time Cena and Orton are fighting each other on a fucking Monday in July. I mean, it's so, so it's stupid there. But, uh. When, when Cena and Orton have fought each other like a million times, but, you know, I felt, I just felt this segment was filled with a bunch of announcements, uh, you know, n nothing really too great, I mean, there was a few, I, re I remember Rollins said a good line to Cena, he's like, well, maybe the, for the first time you could shut up or something like that, uh, but yeah, I mean, mostly just a bunch of announcements, and this could have, and, and they announced SummerSlam's four hours, and Triple H is like, a huge announcement, SummerSlam's an extra hour. I mean, is that really a huge announcement? I mean, this this could have been done in fucking a minute. Instead, they drag it out to make it 15 minutes long. Then we have Big Show uh, defeating Dean Ambrose in just a fucking slow match. I felt there were some good moves in here. Big Show had a cool submission there. Uh, cool knockout punch, too. You know, Big Show knocks out Ambrose as, as he's going for the suicide dive. So there was a few good moves in here, but holy shit. Dean Ambrose got like counted out to like eight or nine like three times. See that that's the shit that I don't want to see. It's slow, it's boring, and you know I, I prefer a match that's filled with more moves. I mean it's okay if you have that, you know, once, but I mean like three times. It, it, I don't know. It just seemed like a fucking slow ass match. And then you know Big Show goes through the barricade there after the match is over. That was kind of a cool spot, I guess. So all in all, you know, a few decent moves, but I just felt this match was slow. You know, overall, all right, I guess, you know. I'll give it two and a half out of five stars. Then we have Sasha Banks defeating Paige. Felt the wrestling wasn't great, but again, they, they gave him like 10, 15 minutes, you know. So, I mean, it, it, all in all, a good match, I thought. Again, not great. Uh, but, you know, I thought it was a good match. Uh, you know, good wrestling uh, and shit. And, and, and with this Raw, I, I just didn't pay attention as much as I usually did. You know, I just got a fucking new phone. And usually I'm on my phone a little bit when I'm on Raw. And, uh, but but my, the phone I got, I got to get a new battery. So I always have it plugged in. And I, so I'm, I'm, I'm like, I have it plugged into the wall. And I, I don't have a plug that's close enough where I could be on my phone and kind of watch Raw at the same time. So... And again, this is all WWE's fault for putting on a fucking three-hour show. You know, it's like you can't just watch a fucking Raw for three hours. You got to do other shit to keep you awake and, you know. So, you know, you know what, WWE, why don't you make your show a little bit shorter or entertaining and uh, then I'll pay more attention. But, you know, you know, good match here, you know. Enjoyed it for the most part, I guess. So, yeah, three out of five stars here. Then we have Rusev and Lana and Summer Rae in a segment. Just stupid and boring as fuck. I mean, just non-original. You know, I'm so fucking sick of this Lana and this, this Rusev bullshit. You know, it's like Summer Rae, you know, whor whoring herself out to Rusev. Are you kidding me? 
I mean, Rusev is like the ugliest motherfucker on this planet. In in Lana, in you know, they got Summer Rae like sucking his dick. I mean, are you kidding me? I mean, that's just stupid. So you know, in Lana comes out or whatever, and a little bit of a brawl, whatever, stupid, boring. I mean, I mean, can we just get this, you know, feud over with or whatever? Can we see? They just drag everything out. They 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 take a storyline that should be done in a few weeks and they make it a few months. They did the same thing with the Shield. Remember, they did they were teasing a breakup with the Shield and then for like months and months and then they actually never did it. You know, they just you know storylines that they just drag them out and it's like just get it over with and then move on don't don't stay with everything for fucking months and months all right i want new shit i don't want the same shit every week and then we have the luchas defeating the matadors thought this was another good match uh again not great i thought it was good i thought a few sloppy spots maybe you know like like what the fuck was that spot you know it just didn't seem like it was a good spot it almost seemed like a bosh but you know all in all a pretty good match here you know, you had the New Day coming out there with a distraction or whatever. And, you know, so the Luchas, again, the Luchas are fucking now number one contenders. And they were just off TV for like, what, a month or two? See, they just have no direction. They have no plans. And while, while I think the Luchas are good wrestlers, you know, it's like, why, why, how can I take them seriously as a number one contender when they haven't been on TV in the past month or two? See, they just have no direction. It's like... Oh, one week we're going to do this. We have no long-term plans, and this is the result. You know, it's just shit that makes no sense. Then we have Wyatt and, and Harper cutting a promo here. It's, you know, Harper's initiation. You know, I, I like Bray Wyatt's analogy there. You know, making the analogy of, you know, he let the animal, his pet, run away. And then he came back. Uh, I thought it was an alright segment here. I uh, thought it was, again, dragged out a little a little bit. I uh, thought it could have been shorter. I'm like, okay, when's this going to be over? I get the point. Um, so, yeah, overall, all right. Good promo. You know, decent promo. Just a little bit too long, I thought. And, you know, um, yeah, just didn't, I don't know. It just was missing, you know, something. Maybe a, we needed a brawl or, you know, something to make it interesting. But, I don't know, just felt like it was a little bit dragged out. And maybe that's just because the show was nearing its third hour, and you're like, okay, we wanted, we wanted to get it over with. Or it was in the third hour, I believe. And it's like we wanted to get over with, you know. Then we have this Divas tag match. I forget who the fuck it even was. Uh, I believe it was like Charlotte and, um, and Becky Lynch versus uh, Felicia Fox and the Bella Twins, or, or one of the Bellas. I thought overall it was a, you know, I, I don't even fucking, I didn't even fucking take notes for this match. I think it was a pretty fucking boring match. I don't remember anything too great about it, you know. Uh, and, you know, like, like the Divas, though, I mean, I don't know. It's like the, 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 they're not doing anything that's, you know, they brought up all these NXT Divas and whatever. Um, and it's like... I don't know, they're just putting them in matches. They're not really doing anything storyline-wise that is that entertaining so far. Um, I mean, we've seen some decent wrestling and shit, but it's like, okay, you know, who's number one contender at, at SummerSlam? What's going to happen there? Uh, so, I mean, yeah, th they brought up the uh, girls from NXT, which is good, but we got to keep going from there. We just can't bring them up and say, oh, well, that's great, great moment. We're fine. No, you gotta keep building on that. Then we have Owens versus Orton, and just a boring fucking match. I thought, you know, uh, and, and you have a, a DQ too. You know, I'm so sick of fucking DQs all, all the fucking time. It's like holy shit. You know, can we just have a definitive winner? You know, make just put Owens over. I mean, come on. You know, Orton fucking Orton. You know. He hears voices inside his head. Oh, wow, you know. Wow, he hears voices inside. He's going to that place. He's going to... And I'm just so sick of the same old shit with Orton. You know, the the sadistic viper. He's not sadistic. He's a fucking slow-ass wrestler who fucking sucks. And, you know, he, he, another boring performance from him. From him. Uh, you know, and... Like, everybody Owens has wrestled, he's put on a great match with. And now Orton can't even fucking... Put on a good match, I thought. Uh, 
So that tells you right there that, that Orton sucks, and he does. So that this match was, you know, pretty shitty, pretty boring. And, uh, you know, any match with Orton in it, I don't take that much interest in because I know it'll probably fucking suck. Because Orton is just that guy who, no matter who you put him with, you know it's not going to be a great match, probably. Because he's just so horrible. He's so slow. He just brings the entire, you know, atmosphere down. And, and, you know, this is probably a match I was on my phone for a lot. And I apologize. You know, I shouldn't have been on my phone. I was on my phone a lot during this Raw. And I apologize for that. But, the, the, you know, it's like three hours. It's long-ass show, you know. So next next week I will try to do a better job of not being on my phone and actually watching the fucking show. Because I should watch the majority of the show. And I probably did I watch I probably did watch a majority, but I should watch almost the entire show if I'm going to do a review. So I apologize for that, but and I should have done you know I I could have done a review last night, but I was you know I didn't feel like it. My bad. I apologize again. I'm just fucking up all over the place, I guess. But you know, but yeah, I I should do a better job of watching the show, and I I'll, I'll do my best next week. But you know. So then we get the main event. Cena, uh, Rollins. Thought the match was a good match overall. Didn't think the wrestling was, you know, that great. But I thought it was, uh, you know, alright. Uh, you know. You have Cena winning again. Fuck that shit. But he, you know, fucking like broke his nose or whatever. Holy shit, that looks fucking bad. You know. So, you know, it, it was just a cool, ad, you know, that really added to the match, too. So, I'm going to give the match 3.25 out of 5 stars just for that spot, you know. Because, you know, it was cool, just a cool to see that. You know, obviously, I don't like when people get hurt. I'm not rooting for people to get hurt. But, and you know, when JBL said, you know, seeing this really one tough son of a bitch, it just added to the whole atmosphere. And it made it feel like it was actually, you know, a, a real show. It made it feel more real, and it made it feel less PG than it actually is. You know, blood, broken noses, people saying the word pitch. I mean, it, it was just a good atmosphere. And, you know, and JBL is really kind of right when he's saying that. I mean, you got to admit the guy's pretty tough for, you know, uh, breaking his nose and keep on going like it never even happened. You, you know, but I am pissed off, though, that, right? You know, that would have been cool, you know, maybe some interference, you know, with Cena. Give Rollins the fucking victory. Make him fucking two champions. Good. He's fucking talented. He deserves it. Oh, no. We got to give Cena another fucking victory. You got to bury more people now. You know, why don't you just fucking have Cena versus Rollins and I have Cena just beat him in five minutes at SummerSlam. I think they're going to do fucking Cena versus Rollins and then Cena's going to fucking beat him at SummerSlam or some shit like that. I'm just so sick of Cena winning every fucking match, burying all the fucking talent that's younger and newer, you know, nobody can fucking get over in this company who's young and new because of fucking Cena, he's always burying everybody, it's so annoying, but anyway, good match, you know, good main event, at least it wasn't, at least the authority wasn't involved, well, I guess you could say Rollins is part of it, but you know, you know, at least it was no Triple H, Kane, or whatever, so you know, overall, I'm gonna give, I'm gonna give this show, I'll give it five and a half out of five, uh, out of ten stars, because, you know, there was actually, you know, a few good matches, some good shit. So, maybe that's a little bit of a fucking nice rating. But, I mean, they're, they're trying to put on a better show, and I appreciate that. So, I'm just going to go, what the hell, give it 5.5 out of 10 stars. You know, they're doing longer matches, better matches. So, I'm happier than I was before. So, and I, I'm going to do a better job. Uh, next week of watching the show actually paying attention and not being on my phone because I respect the fact that WWE is putting on you know at least trying to do a better job of putting on a better Raw so I'm going to respect that and actually watch the fucking show a little bit more next week or, or at least I'll try to but there you go people actually I'll be on vacation next week so I'll probably watch it on an iPad which means I, when I watch it on the iPad or the computer I usually watch a lot more of it than I would if I was on the TV so I probably will watch a lot of it next week. But there you go, people. There's my Raw review. You know, I'll, I'll just say it. You know, maybe, maybe I'm being too positive, but it was a decent show. So there you go, people.